So milking, milking procedures start in the pen where the cows are at. So we want to go and get cows from the pen as quietly and at their pace. Your main purpose in going into the pen to get a group of cows, to bring them to be milked, your main purpose is to clean the stalls. Secondarily, the cows will leave the pen and they will have left at their own pace and that's important so they're relaxed so they get to the holding area once again once in the holding area um, we want to minimize noise and have the cows come into the parlor on their own accord so they're relaxed and then once into the parlor um, here at foremost we spray first and then spray four cows and go back, strip four cows, go back, wipe four cows, and then come back and attach units to four cows. The stripping uh, is important to stimulate her to let down her milk. Not only will it stimulate her, you can also assess whether the milk is normal or not. We have to wipe the dip off the teat because that's not allowed in the milk, and then we attach the unit. And so. We want 30 seconds of contact time, minimum of 30 seconds of contact time with a dip. And then from the time we stimulate the cow to when we attach the unit, we would like 90 seconds. And that will allow her enough time to be stimulated, allow oxytocin to be released from her brain, and allow for milk letdown. The better we have stimulated the cow, the quicker she will milk out. And that's what we're after. We want to minimize unit on time. And, and some ways we can address that or monitor that is with the milking system, we can keep track of how quickly she milks out and we can uh, keep track. Some software programs will look at how much milk has come out in the first two minutes and we usually want to target 50% of the milk, of her milk from the milking on a 3X herd uh, in two minutes. In a 2X herd, it's a little longer because uh, they're milking a little more per milking. Um, Anyway, so once uh, she gets near the end of milking, we have automatic takeoffs. So when it, it senses the milk flow has decreased, uh, and once it gets to that a set level, and in a certain amount of time after that, the unit will automatically come off of her. And the way you can assess that in the parlor, once the cow is totally milked out, if you take a cup, so eight ounces, and you strip out the milk that's left in her quarters, you should get eight ounces of milk. And that would mean your settings for the automatic takeoffs are probably set correctly. And as we saw this morning in our example, we only got maybe a third of a cup. So we probably need to t tweak our automatic takeoffs a little bit, for that cow especially. So once that is all done, obviously we want to dip the teats. And as you can see, we had two different kinds. We, we had a teat cup uh, with a brush in the inside. Those are called thrifty dippers. Uh, and we had one without the brush. From practice, I would say most guys save about a third to half on teat dip by using the thrifty dippers. Um, and then once the cows are all done, uh, we let them out and we bring in the next group of cows.